ഐ വെൽക്കം ആൾ ഓഫ് യു വിത്ത് മൈ ലവ് ആൻഡ് റെസ്പെക്ട്സ് ദ പ്രോസസ് വാസ് സോ ഇൻറ്റൻസ് ഐ ക്യാൻ വിത്ത് ആൾ മൈ കോൺഫിഡൻസ് ബിയോണ്ട് യുവർ ഡൗട്ട് ഐ ക്യാൻ ഡിക്ലെയർ ദ പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് സിക്സ്റ്റി ഇൻ സൗണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ശ്രീ യന്ത്ര ഹാസ് ഹാപ്പൻഡ് ഇൻ എവ്രി വൺ ഇൻ എവ്രി വൺ അതർവൈസ് മൈ ബോഡി മേ നോട്ട് നീഡ് സോ മച്ച് ടൈം ടു റിക്യൂബ് I should not use the word recube. Uh, I can say that to settle down with that Shiva Bodha, the trance of being Shiva, we will start working on Mahadeva Sentra. <laughs> Shivoham. This is the Yantra specifically given for the experience of Shivoham. We... did work on Sri Yantra, Devi's mandala, because Devi only has to push us into Shivoham. She only has to open the door. She is the door. Now, she has opened the door for all of us. It's time. We enter into the space of Shivoham. It will be totally different experience. it will take you to the depths of you where you will see the eternal silence the vibrant silence of kailasa you will see that vibrant silence of kailasa they all the 16 sounds will be merging into that one soundless space shivoham as i said mahadeva is heavy but non demanding come on let me respond to your questions or sharing experiences go ahead i tell you enriching is not action it is a being decision enriching is not a action it is just a decision i am telling you when you have so much of anger violence see it all boils down to how you respond when your mother tells you giving you few rupees and tells you to go and buy vegetables from the shop in the corner of the street and bring it how you respond the same way you respond when i tell you go around and enrich maya maha maya maha devi see maha devi is the maha maya devi is maha maya devi opens our doors for us to experience shivoham only when we are matured enough to enrich the world i am telling you she first gives handful with and she sees with the handful what you do if you eat it completely all by yourself she is happy she gives you 
if you share it with others she is more happy she opens the door if you eat and share again she is happy she opens the door but if you just throw it away she says all right why to waste <laughs> enriching even if you enrich yourself you will be given more actually when you enrich yourself you will naturally enrich others because it's not that when you eat you will be able to eat the whole at least from my experience i can tell you become a bole baba to share with the world became a bole baba to share with the world and simply she will shower on you she will shower on you swami ji is go ahead i am um, i i want to tell on myself because i i got irritated over something and the irritation turned into an amazing understanding of myself and of others um there was one person here who's very different from me and i'm more like a bully baba actually i'm kind of a frilly bully baba and i like to get frilly but i like to get muddy at the same time and um sometimes i i'm a little inconsistent not highly structured and there's a highly structured person here who i keep coming in contact with and this person is asking me questions like you need to move back or you need to move forward or where's your handbag and where's your water bottle and why did you put this package here and i started to think this person is acting like my mother you know and it's like she's not my mother why is she telling me what to do and and i started to uh get irritated and then i realized that she was me and that she was a reflection of something inside of me that i needed to understand more about and this morning i saw her before i came in and and she was so upset because she was trying to put everything in order and nothing was working and the trash was on the floor and there was a, a, a ice cream um drink that was half drunk and it was out there and she said look at this can you believe that this is here and i'm like yeah i know it's there because you created it you created it to be there and and we started to share and to make a long story short she i held her in my arms and she cried and i told her you know you're a structuralist do you like structure and you want everything to be in its place and that's a beautiful aspect but then there needs to be the flexibility that goes along with it and see i'm overly flexible but not structured enough so we make a beautiful pair so now we can reflect each other in a beautiful way and and accentuate the positivity that we have to offer each other see structured is god with form being unstructured is god with formless you should be beyond both able to enjoy both structured people become fanatic and torturing others unstructured people just by being unstructured they torture others <laughs> structured people by bullying others they torture others do this do this do this do this unstructured people because you can't live with them they torture others <laughs> but i tell you ability to be with both if somebody is structured you are able to accommodate that person also whenever you feel unstructured you be there and you are able to accommodate when people wanted to be structured and something more is the real pure space do not fill your inner space 
fully structured, fully unstructured. It is like a, don't put all your wealth in a real estate. Put something in land, something in gold, something as currency, something in share, so that even one collapses, the other is there. Same way your inner space. Have some part of your life structured, enjoy. Little unstructured, enjoy. Have some space for structured people, have some space for unstructured people and retain something in your hand as a pure currency. Have this kind of a large space that does the real job. That does the real job. The other thing, Swamiji, is the uh, configuration of the Sri Yantra is extremely uh, sophisticated configuration. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that I've tried to draw it and mm -hmm. I can't draw it very accurately. No, I, can, I can tell, I have a clear system of how to draw. That system only I gave and uh, reproduced it here. And it's a clear formula. There's a clear formula. I have that formula with me. I'll give it to... Mm. It is done as per the original uh, Sri Vidya Upanishad. You know, only Sri Vidya Sampradaya has eight Upanishads dedicated to it. Eight Upanishads dedicated to it. And the Upanishads describe clearly how to draw the mandala. Exactly the same way it was drawn. But what I wanted to say is that mm. I'm seeing it when I close my eyes. Mm. It's there constantly and it looks like a negative, you know, mm. like the old timey mm. pictures yes, have yes, black yes. with the lines mm. on it. Mm. And it's, it's there mm. and it was consistently there and I started to just take it for granted. And then it disappeared and mm. it's not there anymore and I'm disappointed mm. because, you know, it's not there. <laughs> you don't need to now see in the form. Your whole brain is aligned to that form. So you don't need to see it separately. But seeing it is believing it, Swamiji. Mm. Uh, as but far I, as being a scientist mm. and wanting to see the reality, mm -hmm. you know, the Maya reality. Okay, do one thing. Just put a mirror on your head and close your eyes and look at that mirror, you will see the entra. Oh. <laughs> okay, great. With your closed eyes, put a mirror like this. Yes. Close your eyes, try to look at the mirror. You will see the reflection of the entra on the mirror. <laughs> Super, thank you. Nityanandam Swamiji, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> when we finish this Shivoham process and go back home, mm -hmm. how will our state of being? Your home will be Kailash. <laughs> and I tell you, don't even see this mind which goes on questioning. Why, you know, because I am not, I don't care about it. That is why it is bothering you so much. Why this fellow is not even telling me to visualize the Sri Yantra? Why he is not telling me to visualize completion? Why he is not telling me to visualize Shiva or Devi? Why is he not asking me to even sit with half an hour and complete with basic incompletions? So that is why mind goes on fighting with you. I, I tell you, do not bother and you yourself will see this mind loses power over you. You can see the so much, the incompletions you will remember every day you are not remembering now. Many incompletions you remember every day you don't remember nowadays. So do not worry, when you go back, don't ask how your mind, mental condition will be. Your home will be Kailasa. Because the place Shiva walks in can only be Kailasa. There is no need for you to believe, there is so much. Otherwise, you yourself, do you have a logical reason why so much is happening in you when you are not doing anything? So much is happening in your body, so much is happening in your mind. Hmm? Yes. Swamiji, hmm. we talked about uh, structured and unstructured mm -hmm. people. Hmm. Uh, is structured people and unstructured people, why are they always around? Is it by design? 
that structured people are always challenged by the unstructured um, actually they both find each other to fight with each other <laughs> that is the truth i am telling you their both ara is such they hate each other so much they try to find each other in any crowd and fight you can see these guys who always organize the chappal slippers outside the room they will find that kind of ambiance where things are left um, disorganized and they will find at least two three people who are leaving disorganized and catch them i <laughs> only then they feel satisfied that their philosophy is right and those people also they will make sure next time in front of your eyes only they will leave with chappal disorganized it is like <laughs> no they find each other and torture each other in my case i keep such a way myself both cannot torture me because i know how to be structured now to be unstructured so miji blesses uh, that both structured and unstructured people should that not was. be torturing us thank you just have a large inner space that's all have a large inner space if you remember there was one conflict brought to me about this q and q jumping how i handled to just see that is exactly the way to handle i was neither supporting q jumping nor supporting fighting with people because they jump queues i dismantled the structure of uh, keys queue itself like that let us that is the way to handle if you see mahadeva is so structured and the other moment if you see is just bolenath bairagi bairagi going around begging and eating the other time if you see with ganesha subramanya a large family all the shiva bhutas an unmaintainable family what is the city it's like a see anima mahima mahima means feeling huge it's one of the siddhi anima means feeling light that's when your body levitates feeling huge you become so stable so stable you will never felt you are so stable that is mahima thank you all right i tell you more and more and more you look at the whole life and the world in a non serious way taking things lightly joyfully jovially see it's not that our sangha is not delivering to the world we deliver so much to the world still i retain that joy of being non serious non serious i tell you nothing is a problem as long as you don't make it as a problem so essence of today's satsang live happily I bless you all let you all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching and causing eternal bliss nityananda thank you